Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Don't Let Him In, and if you don't want to let him in, the links and the details will be down below in the description for you. This is going to be a third person psychological horror game where three friends are driving down the highway on the way to see their favourite band. On the way, they're going to see a hitchhiker on the side of the road. A hitchhiker they probably shouldn't pick up. Then again, I don't think they've seen the title to this game. Let's see how it pans out for them, shall we? I really hope you enjoy it. This is Don't Let Him In. Alright, so we're going to use Hard Pixel for this one. There you go. Let's begin. Alright, let's go. I don't know about this. Hitchhiking can be dangerous. What if he's a criminal? Come on, Todd. We can't judge everyone based on appearances. Besides, we're all in this together. We'll be fine. Yeah, there's three of us. What's he going to do? Alright, fine. Let's pick him up. But we're keeping a close eye on him. Alright. They must have brilliant vision. They've been driving for quite a long time. <laughs> okay. So, we've picked up the hitchhiker, have we? So, Guy, where are you headed? Mm-hmm. Just trying to get to the next town over. I've got some business to take care of there. And what kind of business would that be? Just some personal stuff. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, <laughs> just killing three kids. Well, we're headed to a concert. You're welcome to join us if you want. No, thank you. Thanks for the offer, though. Hey, guys. I don't know if it's just me, but that gas station gave me the creeps. I don't remember seeing a cashier. I just left the money on the counter. Really? That's odd. I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Me neither. Yeah, maybe you're right. I just had a feeling that something wasn't right. Gas stations can be creepy places, especially when they're empty. But don't worry. You're all safe with me around. Hmm, okay. Hey. Have you guys heard about this storm that's supposed to hit tonight? No. What storm? I heard it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> but it won't stop you guys from seeing that killer band, right? Definitely not. Not a chance in hell. You know, I've seen some strange things on this road. Things that make me question myself. What do you mean? Well, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get to the next stop. I fear for my life. Are you okay? You're starting to sound paranoid. No response. Huh. Right. Yeah, let's let's dump this guy, shall we? Dude, relax. We've been driving for hours, and we haven't seen anything strange yet. At least, until we picked you up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bad joke. Huh. Yeah. Strange. Okay. Alright. I think we've been driving for a while now. Anyone else starting to get a little creeped out? Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. Why does it feel like we're just driving in circles? I know. It's starting to freak me out. What do you think about the hitchhiker we picked up? I don't know. He seemed normal enough when we picked him up, but now he's just staring out the window and not saying a word. He is right there, by the way. He probably can hear everything you're saying. Do you ever feel like you're trapped? Like, no matter what you do, you can't get out? He speaks, but seriously, man, <laughs> what are you talking about? I know you're scared. You're all scared. But there's no need to be afraid. What are you talking about? Your fears and doubts. Things that keep you up at night. I can help you break free. Can you? Uh, how are you going to do that? asks Todd. By showing you the truth. I don't like this. Let's just drop him off. Please, sir, get out. It's too late. You're all trapped, and there's no way out. Whoa! What the hell did... Did he just blow his face off? What the... Oh my god, what just happened? Did he really just kill himself? I can't believe this is happening. Why did we pick him up? Why did we let him into our car? Wait, honestly, how the hell did that happen? Did he have a shotgun with him or something? We have to try and stay calm. I just need to figure out what's going on and, and how to get out of here. It's gonna be okay. We'll find a police station nearby and, and tell them what happened. 
Oh my god. My dad's gonna fucking kill me. The car. What if they think we had something to do with this? I think he was trying to tell us something. I think he's just fucking crazy. Or at least he was. We have to keep going. Well, we're gonna miss the band. The band? Who gives a crap about the band? Fuck you, Todd. Fuck you, Tyler. Hey, chill. Don't touch his gun. I'm going to go into the diner and see if I can find some help. That's hell. Okay, that escalated really, really quickly. You guys coming or what? Uh, I'll wait here. Something about this place gives me the creeps. Me too. I'll keep the hitchhiker company. Fuck you, Tyler. Fuck you, Todd. Will you both quit it? Alright. I'll go in by myself then. Alright. Ah, here we are. Okay. So it's not all just like a visual novel. Uh, it looks like I've got a sanity meter, which is actually slowly but surely dwindling. I wonder why. This place looks scary. Be careful, James. Tyler can be a dick sometimes. Right, yeah, uh, okay. This way, is it? Let's see. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that actually did make me jump. Hello? Yeah, it made me jump and it actually made me lose sanity as well. I've got a light here. Yeah, a flashlight. I need that. It's really dark. Okay. That's a little bit better. Alright, let's see. Let's go back here. A phone! Ah, oh, it seems to be broken. What the hell? Right. If I can find the right tool, I bet I can get this open. Hmm. Okay. What's this? A can of Pepsi or something? Oh. Oh, I think I think they were pills or something. Right, that, that helps me regain sanity. Which was going down really, really quickly, by the way. Looks like there's some more pills there. Right. I think I saw someone run this way. What have we got here? What's that? It's a map of the area. This road is highlighted. There's a small note. SOS. My family and I have been stuck on this road for three days. Food is spoiled. Rations low. This isn't good. However, I better keep looking for help. Right. Okay. Oh, back here. The Oh, yep. <laughs> Looks like we might be going into the toilets. Oh, God. Oh, pills? Perfect. Okay, right. Uh, seems like it might be the middle stall. Oh, God. Okay. There's something in this hole. It's disgusting, but I better look inside. You're a man after my own heart. Alright, what's it going to be? Uh, oh, all right. Huh, it's the driver's license. Is that the, uh, is that the hitchhiker? Yeah, it looks like the guy that we picked up, that's right. The card, it, it's pretty beat. I can't tell for sure, but yeah, looks similar anyway. I think I can slide open the kitchen door with this, right. Do I want to, though? Okay, let's see. Uh, what about the others? Uh, no, okay. Yeah, to be honest, I've probably stuck my arm down one too many toilets already. Okay, let's see then. What is that? Or oh, who is that? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yep, yep. I understand why there's so many pills around. Speaking of which. Right. Let's see. It seems like there's no use button in this game. You just sort of walk up to things and, and use them automatically, like that. What the fuck? Okay. A strange symbol is written on the wall. What the hell? I don't know. Let's have a look. Or maybe we can't. There's some more pills, but... Hmm. There's nothing else here? Oh, Okay. <laughs> that just opened because it can. I've got to get out of here and back to the car. Oh, here it is. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Are we done here? I don't know. 
I guess so. Huh, strange. See anybody? A phone, perhaps? Nah, not a working one. But I saw something strange. I, I, I don't know what it means, though. Okay, genius. We should probably go. But what about him? Yeah, what about him? We can't just leave him here. Right. We'll have to bring him with us. But we need to hurry. Shotgun! Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the right thing to say. I had to ride down with the guy. It's your turn. <sighs> Shit. Alright. Yeah, fair's fair, I suppose. Wow. This is so creepy. He's just sitting there, staring at us. I know. I can't bear to look at him. Let's try not to think about it. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, silence. Silence from both of them. All three. Look, there's that motel up ahead. James, you should go check it out. Are you sure that's a good idea? What about the dead guy in our car? I'm aware of the situation, Tyler, but I have to look for help. Right, yeah. Yeah, this is very, very strange, isn't it? Um, okay. Here we are. Again, we have to worry about our sanity. Hey! We need help! Hello? No response. Right, let's see. Anything around here? Oh, there is. A, a bloodstained note by the looks of it. I can't take it anymore. The road goes on forever and there's no escape. I thought I saw someone up ahead, but when I got closer, they disappeared. Am I losing my mind? Seems like we're not the first to travel down this strange road. Okay, let's go behind the counter here. The employee lounge, right. I think I can get in here, if I can find the key. I see. Alright, well, maybe it's going to be back here. Or maybe it's not. There's some pills, but I'd rather not take them. I'll, I'll save them for when I really need to. Uh, okay. Maybe I should talk to the guys. Dude, go find some help. Check all the rooms. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, well, it looks like I can't go up there. Let's see. Place for maintenance? Yeah, the door's jammed shut from the other side. I don't think I'll be able to get in this one. Hmm. Is there another one back here? Uh, yeah. I suppose they're all going to be locked, aren't they? I haven't found any keys or anything quite like that. What about three? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> What's up with this? Is that another bloodstained note on the bed? I keep hearing whispers in my ear, but when I turn around, there's no one there. I can't tell if it's my imagination or something else. I don't know how much longer I can take this. Okay, there's some pills there. Might need to take them soon. Around here? What we got? The ensuite bathroom? Uh, hello? This place is really filthy. It's like nobody's been here for a long time. Or well, they don't have a maid. I think it's probably going to be the first one. Oh, I've got I've got the key to room four. Okay, that's good. Oh, hang on. Now I've got the key to room four. <laughs> Nothing down this toilet. Nah. Always worth checking, though. Always worth checking. Right, I'm going to take those pills, and then I suppose we're going to go to well, next door, right? Room four. Over here. Here we are. All right. Similar setup, just kind of mirrored. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was coming from the radio or maybe the ensuite, but. Okay, there's definitely something going on in the ensuite. Whoa! What? Wasn't that the hitchhiker? The fuck? What? I tried to leave this endless road by walking through the woods, but it just led me back here. It's like there's no escape. I'm starting to think I'm in some kind of hell. Me too. But at least I've got the key to room 5. There we are. Is that coming from the radio or somewhere else? I don't know. Right, let's keep on going. Room 5. That's going to be right over here. Okay. All the TVs are on. It's very strange. Alright, the ensuite. Go on. 
Oh. It's a kid. I can feel their hands on me, pulling me down, dragging me into the darkness. Kid, what happened to you? <laughs> Nothing, because he's not there. Get it together, James. I swear, I just... The employee lounge key? Wonderful, okay. Hmm, might be worth checking out. Just like those pills. Yeah, this is fucking weird. Alright. Yeah, let's let's get out of here, shall we? So, can't go up there. Uh, oh, okay, there's, there's one more room. There's that symbol again. There's rustling behind the door. Hello? Is anyone there? This is an emergency! Silence. Strange. I thought I heard something. Better come back and check this room out a little bit later. Right, there's some spare pills here too. Good, good. Right, for now, let's go back to the employee lounge. Jeez, I am quite a fragile soul, aren't I? I mean, my sanity is not holding up for anything. Okay. Hey. What the hell? Hey. That's not real, is it? No, of course it's not. Of course it's not. Take those pills, come on. The key to room one? Where's that? Somewhere nearby? In here? Okay. The key to room one. Right. And through here? Nope, not gonna happen. Okay. Well, we're just sort of zigzagging all over the place, aren't we? Room one is next, and then I suppose we might be going to six? If I had to guess? Doesn't look like there's anything around here. Right, room one. Yeah? Oh, okay. Not a note, but a bloodstained videotape? An unmarked videotape. I wonder what could be on there. It seems there's no tape player around. Didn't I see one? I thought I saw one. I, I should probably take this. Maybe I did in one of the other rooms. Right. Hmm. Well, I know the TVs are working. I'm not so sure about the VCR. Anything in here? We've got some more pills. No more keys or anything quite like that, though, right? Okay, I'll take those and uh, continue my search for the VCR, right? So... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> hang on. No, not here. Maybe over here? No? Oh, come on, one of these has to have a VCR. I really did think I saw one. Right, what about this one? Ah! Right, might want to take those pills. Strange. That's the same symbol I saw at the diner. Oh, ah, oh, here we are. It's a video cassette player. Maybe I should watch the tape I found in the other room. Yeah, maybe you should. Alright, go on then. Let's put the tape in the video player. Oh, I've got company. Wait, is that him? We can't escape our own minds, James. This is the only way I can show you how. Fucking hell. What the hell is going on? He was here. I saw him. I can't watch this tape here. I've got to get back to my friends. Right, I probably should. Probably should. But I've got to check out the ensuite. Okay. Turns out I didn't need to check out the ensuite. <laughs> yeah, so let's just get out of here, right? I mean, I keep seeing things and this place is hell for my sanity. Let's just go. This is alright so far. I quite like the setup. Don't know if I like the sanity system all that much, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Dude, are you okay? I heard you screaming from inside. I don't know. I, I thought I saw the hitchhiker, but I'm probably seeing things. I have a really bad feeling about this place, man. That's it. We have to get this body out of here. It smells horrible. I think he shit himself. Okay, but then we have to get out of here. If you can, yeah. You really shouldn't have picked this guy up. Alright, who's gonna move it? <laughs> Not it. <laughs> But James, what if we get caught? We'll be in a world of trouble. Hmm, yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? I agree with Todd. 
We can't just leave the body there. It's not right. Exactly, Tyler. We have to do the right thing. We can't just leave this poor guy on the side of the road. But what if the police stop us and find the body in the car? We'll just have to take the risk. It's better than leaving him in the car with us. Actually, I think Tyler's right. We should move the body and then call the police to report it. Alright, Tyler, do it quickly, and let's get out of here before anyone else sees us. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, hitchhiker guy. Hmm. Well, I should know his name, because I think I do actually have his ID card, but... Yeah, we're just leaving him on the side of the road. Come on, start already! Maybe it's just a dead battery. Or maybe it's something more serious. Maybe something more paranormal. We need to figure this out quickly. He warned us about this storm, and we don't want to be stuck here. Yeah, I'll get out and take a look. I mean, to be fair, you are right next to a motel, so... I think there are three available rooms too, so it's not the worst, but... Yeah, he's gonna get out and take a look. Alright. I'm pretty sure Todd can get our car running again. He's always been good with fixing things. Uh, I don't know, man. Todd's never worked on a car before. I don't think he has the skills to fix whatever's wrong with it. Well, you might be right, Tyler, but at least we can give him the chance. We don't have many options right now. I can hear you. <laughs> I'm getting really cold. What's on your mind, man? You look like you've seen a ghost. Actually, I've been seeing this dead hitchhiker, like, moving around. First at the diner, and now the motel. Uh... What is it, Tyler? I, I know I like to joke around, but I've been seeing him too. I knew I wasn't crazy, but what does it mean? Why are we both seeing him? I'm not sure, but I think it has to do with our hitchhiker friend. Also, have you noticed how the road seems to loop back around? It's like we can never get past that same spot. Gas station, motel, and diner. It's like we're stuck, just like he said. Alright, that should do it. Do you guys want to get inside and try and start it again? Okay, hotshot. Alright. Here we go. Uh, don't start it. <laughs> don't start it quite yet, though. Woohoo! Yes, Todd! Well done, Todd. I have to hand it to you. You're not a useless piece of garbage after all. Now, can we all get out of here? What's that noise? Hey! Wait. What the fuck? Where the fuck did that come from? Oh god. It oh man, he looks messed up. Is he? Is he dead? Todd? Todd? Oh my god. What just happened? I can't believe this. Get in the car, Tyler. We need to get out of here. But what about Todd? I'm so sorry, buddy. Jesus, fuck. What do we do? I... I didn't mean to always be a... Treat him like... Dude, he knows you love him. We need to get out of here before anything else happens. But what about the hitchhiker? Who's dis a fucking peered? Where did he go? Who cares about him? I can't believe Todd is fucking dead, man. We have to get out of here, Tyler. Man, that was so abrupt, so rough. Just like the gunshot at the beginning, I suppose. Right, then there were two. Dude, you haven't said a word. That's because he's dead! Oh, you're talking to the other guy. What do you want me to say? Something. Anything. I can't believe this happened, man. I just can't believe it. I know, Ty. It's hard to make sense of something like this. And now I keep seeing my brother, Danny. I know he's not really here, but I, I can't shake the feeling that he's with me. You know... Danny drowned in the lake near our house when we were kids. That hitchhiker, now Todd, they're in my head. You're not alone, man. We'll get through this together, but I'm really worried for you. Danny, my baby brother was just staring at me through the water. Even though he was lifeless, he had a look on his face as if he wanted to kill me. Jeez. Try to calm down. It's okay, man. You're just shaking up. We'll be at the gas station soon, and we can get some gas. Wait, did you say the gas station? Yeah, we're running pretty low on gas. We need to stop and refuel. 
You mean the gas station where all this mess started? Yeah, I suppose so. You probably passed it three, four, five times now, right? Yeah, but what can we do, man? Todd got this car working. We need to use it to get away from here. That's close to where we picked up that fucking guy. Dude, the light's on. I guess you're right. Let's just get this over with. All right, so we're going back to the gas station. Huh. I guess this road never deviates, does it? We can't go left, we can't go right. Maybe we could just sort of drive through a fence? Uh, I don't know. That guy who went through the woods didn't seem like he had much better luck. Hey man, I'm gonna grab some supplies. Is that okay with you? I don't know, James. It could be risky. We need to get food. Batteries. We can't keep driving forever without stopping. God, okay, fine. But let's make it quick. I don't like the feeling of being exposed like this. That guy could come back any second. I hear you, man. Alright. So now we're going to be exploring the gas station. Why not? Jesus Christ. I, honestly, I'm actually quite surprised your sanity's that high. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Anything around here? No. I was wondering if maybe we were going to like steal a car battery or something like that. Get some supplies from the other cars, but maybe not. Okay. You don't want any ice? No? Alright, let's just go inside. Oh, it's locked. That's strange. When I was here earlier, it wasn't locked. I need to find the key. Some pills down there. I'll keep them in mind. Okay. What we got over here? Toilets again? Alright, seems like a good bet. Whoa. Jesus Christ! He's dead. What happened to his eyes? I am so sorry, but I need that key. What the hell am I hearing? What? Right, someone or something was in that stall. And there's a note down here. The hitchhiker. He's not just in my head anymore. He's real. Yeah, that's the last thing I want to fucking read. Okay, I'll take the key. And I'll take the pills as well. Thank you very much. Right. So, over here. Wait, what? It's already open? The door was locked. This is really fucked up. <laughs> really interesting premise. Interesting story. Shit, this place is pretty much empty. I better grab whatever I can. Okay. Well, there we are. We got some canned food or something. Can you hear that? I think there's someone on the other side of the wall. Maybe through that door. Right, let's let's pick up the supplies first. We're we just gonna grab everything? The pills as well? Okay. Did that just open by itself? Right, there's definitely someone around the corner here. What the fuck? Is that the hitchhiker again, or someone else? But a videotape player. I should watch that tape. What about the guy that was standing in front of it? What what happened to him? What? All right, we're just gonna ignore that. Let's watch the tape. Okay. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. That was quite a visceral reaction. The hell was on the tape? Okay. It's Tyler in the car. What's taking him so long? Todd? Todd says hey. Oh. What? You're alive? Todd? Is that really you? Yeah. It's me, man. Nah, that's that's bullshit. It's the hitchhiker. It it it's not him. I I I don't understand. The, the truck. It killed you. I know. But I wanted to talk to you. To say goodbye. Why did you have to go, man? Why did this happen to you? I don't know, Ty. I really don't. But I want you to know that I love you. And I'm proud of you. I miss you, Todd. I miss you so much. You know, Ty, to be completely honest, I actually never really liked you. What? Todd, what are you talking about? You always thought you were better than me, didn't you? You always looked down on me. No, dude, you were my friend. 
I, I never thought that. Don't lie to me, Ty. You always thought you were the smart one. The successful one. You always put yourself first. Todd, what's going on? Why are you saying these things? Because I want you to suffer, Ty. I want you to feel the pain I felt when I died. You were never a good friend to me. And now you're going to pay for it. Todd, please, this isn't you. You're not like this. Oh, but I am, Ty. I'm exactly like this. And now you're going to have to live with the guilt of knowing you weren't a good friend to me. I can't take this, Todd. Please, make it stop. Wow. Is that his goal? To, to get us to suffer? I think that's it, right? That is it. Tyler, Tyler, we need to get out of here right now. What took you so long? In the motel, I found this tape. I thought it was just some random home movie, but it wasn't. Okay, who gives a shit? Yeah, who gives a shit, right? Dude, the tape was unlabeled. I, I couldn't tell what was on it until I got here and used the VCR at the gas station. A young girl, tied up. I... Tyler, the hitchhiker. He was doing it for... For fun. Like a sick game. And the victim. She was screaming and begging for him to stop. But the hitchhiker was just smiling. I, I didn't know what to do. I mean... There was no way to identify who the victim was. God knows how many tapes there are like this. There was a house. A house? Yeah. A blue house, right at the beginning of the tape. There was only a few seconds of footage, as it had been recorded over. There was only a few frames, but I think I could spot it out if I saw it. Dude, look! Over there! Back at that diner! What's going on at the diner? I like the music in this game, but man, that was that was jarring. Okay, wait, police? Okay, Samantha. Hello, hello. Requesting return transmission, over. All right, Samantha and Frank. I guess they're lost on this road too. There's no use. It must be the walkie. The trees can interfere with the signal. I guess you're right. But something feels different about this place. Hmm. 12 o'clock. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's literally right in front of you. I don't think you need to call out 12 o'clock. Hey, hey. Oh my god. Are we glad to see you. Hey there, boys. Oh, boy. What are you doing out here all alone? You've got to help us. We picked up a hitchhiker, but he... He killed himself. Our friend was hit by a truck. We've been driving, but it feels like we're getting nowhere. Whoa, whoa. Slow down. You boys haven't been doing drugs tonight, perhaps. Slow down, Frank. Now that you mention it, we've been having some trouble with the road ourselves. We've been radioing in, but we can't get a signal. See, this is why I keep telling you. The department needs to get some of those new cellular phones. Okay, Frank. So, you've been having trouble with this road too? Yeah. This is my first night working in this town, and it feels like we've been stuck out here for a while. But that's not the only weird thing that's been happening. I know what you mean. Actually... I recognize you. You're Tyler Franco, right? Uh, yeah? How did you know? Your brother went missing a decade ago, right? Danny? W went missing? He... He drowned. But I don't see how that... Tyler, listen. Uh... I don't know if I should be telling you this. Your brother didn't drown. He was abducted. Oh shit, what? But I saw him drown. I'm... uh... Sorry, Tyler. We've put countless resources towards investigating your brother's disappearance for years, but we've never been able to find the guy who did it. We narrowed down the search, and we think it was the guy who ran the videotape store here in this town. But he had an alibi for that day. I hate that fucking guy. What a degenerate lowlife. Frank. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, kid. What happened to your brother was tragic. What? <laughs> Did I dream that my brother drowned? I was so young. My parents. They withheld the truth from me this entire time. Do you think this is another trick? Do you think this is a, a Todd coming back from the dead kind of scenario? I think they might be bullshitting us. I think, honestly, I think these guys aren't even real. Anyway, Samantha says, Did you say something about a hitchhiker? You won't believe us. 
It's just strange the abductor's M.O. was to hitch rides with families, kill the parents and take the children. The brother's case was different, in that he was lured away from school by a stranger. However, in both cases, eyewitnesses claim to have seen a bold man, roughly in his mid to late thirties. We have reason to believe that these cases are connected. I... I can't believe it. Why are you telling me this now? We needed to be sure. But listen, we need your help. James saw something, didn't you? Something that could be connected to Danny's disappearance. Y yeah, I saw this horrible tape. It was... it was hard to watch. A tape? What kind of tape? Well, maybe we're going to see it. Oh my god! What the hell is this? I've been a cop for 22 years. I've never seen anything like this. Frank, we need to act on this right away. Oh, this is sickening. So you said you picked up this guy? Does anyone recognize the location? Yes, it's him. But I don't recognize the house. Maybe we can track down the girl in the video and see if she's still alive. Do you think this guy could have done this to my brother? Not sure, son. We need to put out an APB on this guy and get Tyler and James to safety. Can we help you guys catch this guy? Absolutely not. We can't risk your safety, but we'll keep you updated on the investigation. Hmm, no words from Frank. You know what, guys? I think we need to destroy the tape. It's not worth risking our lives for. Odd? What are you talking about, Frank? Yeah, we have to find the hitchhiker. He's a danger to everyone. And what about my brother? He could still be out there. I'm sorry, Tyler, but we can't risk our lives for a lost cause. Okay. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you all something. Oh, oh, he knows something. What is it, Frank? Seriously? Frank? That hitchhiker. You shouldn't have picked him up. Well, obviously! <laughs> Wait, so you guys know each other? We all know of him. It's a small town, and we have to stick together. What is he to you? What's his part in all this? He cursed our town, trapping us inside. No matter how hard we try, we cannot leave. The road just leads back here. He promised to free us. All he needed was sacrifices. Tokens, if you will. It's not what you think. We don't just kill people for no reason. We believe that by offering the right souls, we can bring about a new age of enlightenment. One where we're free. Oh wow, he's... He's fully indoctrinated, this guy. You're crazy! No, James, I'm not crazy. I'm enlightened. He appeared like a prophet. How else can you explain it? What the fuck are you talking about, Frank? <laughs> What a horrible first shift, eh? Deputy, you know too much already. And you're not part of this. I I'm sorry, but I have to do this. What the... What the fuck?! Man. Oh my god. Everyone's dead? Wait, what about James? James isn't dead, right? <laughs> you poor sod! Oh my god. What? Okay. And here we are back in the car. Just... I, I, I don't even know what's going to happen now. How do I know you're not involved too? How do I know I can trust you? Who's he talking to? Oh, oh, Samantha's still alive! I swear to you, James, I had no idea about this cult or Frank's involvement. I don't know what to think anymore. Everything that's been happening is just so insane. How could he kill Tyler like that? James. I never thought this would happen. Why did I take on this stupid assignment? <sighs> yeah, well, forgive me if I'm finding it difficult to trust people right now. So, that little girl, do you have any idea where she could be? No, I don't, but that hitchhiker you mentioned, the one that... yeah? Have you been seeing him? Places where he shouldn't be? Uh, that'll be a yes. I remember this story we used to tell each other as kids. Go on. When I was a teenager, we heard stories about this phantom hitchhiker. 
we'd like to say his name in mirrors and do all sorts of dumb stuff like that. I remember asking my parents, and they told me it was all a hoax. Stranger danger stuff, basically. But they did tell me, although the Phantom Hitchhiker wasn't real, there were in fact real reports of children going missing a few towns over from where I lived. My brother wouldn't sleep all night when they told him that story. Didn't Frank say something about a video store employee? There's a chance he could be the hitchhiker. Me and Frank drove past the VHS store a few hours ago. I could probably take you there. However, James, I definitely know where the blue house in that film is. Oh, really? Wait, she's, she's not the girl, is she? N okay. <laughs> Might be getting ahead of myself there. Uh, right, this is the house on the tape. I'm sure of it. It was the first house I saw when I drove into town. I'm worried about you, Samantha. You should stay here. Save your strength. Are you sure you're okay? I'll be fine, James. I'm just glad I could take down Frank before he could hurt anyone else. But what if something happens to you when I'm in there? Don't worry about me. You need to find out what's going on in that house. We need to stop this once and for all. Yeah? Alright, I'll be quick. And if anything happens, you honk the horn and I'll come running. Deal. But be careful, James. I have a bad feeling about this. Gee, I wonder why. What a fucking night. Oh my god. And we're missing the band. Right. Here we are again. So, uh, look at all the blood on this car. Shit. If there's just three places on this road, you know, one of them isn't a hospital. I don't know if she's gonna make it, honestly. Is this it? Is this the house? Uh, is that our hitchhiker friend? I think it probably was, don't you? The door's open. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, alright, I've got myself a baseball bat. With, uh, spikes in it. Nice, alright. There's some pills there, too. Hey, guys. <laughs> Uh, how you doing? Cult member one. Oh boy. Hey, new guy. You look lost. Uh, yeah. I'm part of a different chapter of the organization. Cult number two says, good. You know, we down here have a special connection to the hitchhiker. The hitchhiker? Yes. As you know, he goes by many names. But we all know who we're talking about. Some of the folks say he's as old as time itself. Isn't it kick-ass, man? I mean, an actual godlike creature is among us! You said it. Amen, brother. Oh, bloody hell. So, what do you guys down here do for him? Well, that's strange you haven't been informed. Uh-oh. Is the jig up? Tapes? Ah, yes. The tapes. The hitchhiker needs them to sustain himself. And the more he has, the happier we keep him. It's important for us to keep him happy. If we do this, he leaves us alone for the most part. I've seen him a few times, though. I've seen him once. He talked to me. Yeah, same. Where did you say you were from again? I sent something off about him. Wait a minute. You're not one of us, are you? What are you talking about? Of course I'm one of you! Prove it then. The hitchhiker and a broken clock. What do they both have in common? Uh... <laughs> I, uh... I don't know. You're not one of us. Get him. Oh man, you didn't even guess! Oh god! Oh, okay. That's how I open doors now. Okay. Oh man. Oh! Oh, bloody hell. He he nearly finished me off. And the door is locked as I bleed out. Holy shit. I'm I'm almost as bad as Samantha. Crap. Any more? Right. What about those pills? They're just for sanity, not for my health. Oh boy. This isn't good. Oh, okay. What's this? A key. Looks like this could be for the back door. All right. I have no idea how you'd possibly know that, but, yeah. <laughs> it's a strange game. Let's just accept that and move on. Okay, back here. 
Right, I assume that's the back door, so what's this? Oh, God! Jesus Christ! Wait. There's that symbol underneath the mattress. Something about the way this is. It seems like a ritualistic killing. This is some fucked up place. Shit. I have to keep looking around. Okay. Bloody hell. Right, yeah. Um, so, remarkably, my sanity's not going down too much here. Alright. Man, if I get jumped, if I get hit like once or twice more, I am dead. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't like this. No, nor do I. I think I can see someone there. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna go in. Oh! What's up? <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna attack him. Oh, come on! Ah, I, I can't. I, I might just be hurting myself. Is that the hitchhiker again? Is he real? I don't know. No, he's not real. He is, though. Another dead kid. Jesus. What's that noise? It flies by the sounds of it. Is there something down there? Huh. Oh, oh there's another door back here. Oh. A washing machine with a... <laughs> With a key inside it. Yeah, there's a key in here. It looks like it's for the front door. What? He's still alive? Help me! He screams. What the hell? Please, mister. Kill me. My god, kid. Oh. Gargling sounds. Lovely. Gargling sounds and then silence. He's dead. I have to get out of here. Oh shit, Samantha. Oh, that noise that I heard, that wasn't the horn, was it? Right, I've got the key, I got that. Let's get out of here. Hopefully not getting battered to death. Jesus Christ, okay, yeah, uh, this way? Back to the car, there it is. Is she all right? Uh, <laughs> is she missing her head? She's still here, though. She's still here. Am I looking at that right? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's odd. She's either missing a head or she's gone through the back seat. Anyway, let's move on. We're both somehow still alive. Right. Let's go. Fuck! Fuck! Hey, oh, there you go. Are you okay, James? What happened in there? I, I don't even know where to start. I just... I just did something terrible. What do you mean? What happened? I went into the blue house on the tape. I found two of those cult members. They were just standing there. I don't know what came over me, but I just... I just attacked them. I killed them, Samantha. I actually killed them. Oh my god, James. I can't even imagine. But James, you have to understand. They were a danger to us. They were going to hurt us or worse. You did what you had to do. But that's just it. I never thought I was capable of something like that. It's like something just took over me. When it was over, I saw a young boy, dead. Another asked me to kill him. I, I couldn't do it. I can't believe this road is so fucked up. I, I feel like I'm going crazy. It's okay, James. You're not crazy. This whole situation is crazy. We're all just trying to survive. And you did what you had to do. You protected us. That's all that matters now. I know you're right. It's just... Seeing that boy like that... And the tape... I, I can't get the image out of my head! I know. It's not easy. But we have to keep moving forward. We have to stay strong. I think we need to go to this video store. Okay, James. I'll try my best to lead you there. Can you? Wait, is this it? Was it on the road? Did we deviate? Are we are we are we out of this loop? Right, we're here, Samantha. Good work. Ooh. She's just groaning. Samantha? Oh, now she's not even groaning. Oh boy. Oh my god. Samantha, I 
I, I think she's still alive, barely. I have to be quick. Still, no response. Okay, right, we're here. Let's do this quick. Whatever we need to do, let's do it quick. Alright. Wait, what's going on here? Who's this? Another one of those cult members. But he's already dead. Who killed him? What has he done to them? I have to be careful. The fuck? Right. I don't know if I'm just, like, psychologically broken or something right now, but I don't have a sanity meter. <laughs> right. Something feels off. Yeah, everything feels off about this. The officer said the guy who worked here could be involved in all this. Alright. Oh. Hang on. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's a shotgun! I could really use this. Definitely. Hey, look at that. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. I know I have to be quick, but let's... Let's maybe go around the building if possible. Just sort of check the perimeter. I'm expecting there to be more cult members. Maybe not all of them dead. Okay. Oh, hang on. A key? Video center. Oh, right. Here's the back door. Can we go in through the back? No, I guess not. Well, maybe I needed to come back here anyway. Okay. Right, let's... Let's go in. Alright. Ah. I recognize the layout of this place. Yeah, I've been here before in a few games. <laughs> that, I think, would lead to a basement. Ah, can't go through. There's that symbol again, though. Right, let's go back into the staff area. Another tape? Je Jesus. Another one of those tapes. That did startle me a little bit, actually. This has to be the right place. Right, we're not picking this one up. What the fuck is that? It's like a demonic slide whistle. Where's that coming from? Oh, it's this. It's the TV. Oh, hello. Where the, whoa, where the hell did you come from? Who are you? What do you want? Those who end up here have lost their way. Those who are searching for something but don't know what it is. And you, James, you are lost. How many have you taken? Oh, James, you have no idea. Todd, Tyler, Samantha. Oh, I knew you liked her. You couldn't save them. Poor, poor James. They had to make a deal. The people in town knew it was the only way. But in return, I needed things. You sick fuck! I don't get it! Why record it on tape? The tape captures your fear, your pain, your suffering. The more tapes in my possession, the more I promised I would keep the endless prison away. I guess this time, they didn't meet my expectations. You guess? Surely you would know. Now, James, this is where I need you. This is insane! I won't be a part of this! You're already here. You were chosen to be on this road for a reason. And now you have no choice. Fuck. You. I thought you might say that. Oh. Oh! Oh god! Oh bloody hell. Oh, is he- is he down? I mean, there's no way this guy is down. Oh, okay, I've got to reload each and every shell individually. Well, the door's open. Is that where I'm going? Shit, okay, right. Let's- let's get back up to eight rounds. Yep. And let's go. <laughs> Maybe point the gun in the direction you're facing. Oh. Oh, wow, look at all these tapes. Holy moly. Right. That slide whistling is so strange. What the? Wait. Who are you? You're not a cult member, are you? Hi. Oh, no, don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. What's your name, little girl? Cassidy. Hi, Cassidy. My name's James. 
I'm here to help you. Please, you have to help me. He's hurt the others. He, he made us do bad things. Jesus. I'm so sorry, Cassidy. I promise you, the hitchhiker won't hurt you anymore. Let's get you home. I have one last thing I need to do. Okay. Burn the place to the ground. Destroy the tapes. Two in one. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Maybe that's going to fix it all if we, you know, if we destroy the recordings of all this, all this pain and suffering. I know, Cassidy. That, that man was a demon. And I'm sorry that he harmed you. But I promise you, he won't be able to hurt anyone else anymore. How did you find me, James? We actually didn't know if anyone was alive. I'm just glad I was able to find you. Now, let's get you home safely. You've been through all his games. Sick tapes. It's all going up in flames. Okay. We also need to get Samantha to a hospital, now. Okay, okay, she's she's responding, she's coughing, she's still alive. We're gonna drive away. Okay. Uh, okay. Todd, who's alive now, says, I don't know about this. Hitchhiking can be dangerous. What if he's a criminal? What's going on? Where are we? Why are you stopping? Let's pick up this guy and get going. Yeah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I was just overthinking it. But, Tyler, you were shot, and Todd, you were hit by a truck. How are you here? What the hell are you talking about, James? We're all here. We're fine. Was it all a dream? Maybe I've gone back. Now that I've destroyed the tapes, so I've given another chance. No, I'm sure of it. Y you guys were hurt. I saw it. James, we're fine. You're scaring me, man. Seriously, just calm down. Let's let him in. He must be cold. Fuck that. Hey, dude, over here. We'll give you a ride. Fuck that. James, drive, just go. No, don't let him in the car. James, you're really scaring me. It's him. He killed both of you. <laughs> James, seriously. No, seriously, we need to go. And we're driving away. We're driving away, leaving him on the side of the road. Uh Wait. Cassidy, what? Oh, God. Ah. Uh, I guess that's what could have happened, but didn't. Nothing. Oh, boy. Easy now. Click to finish. I never should have picked up that hitchhiker. Because of my actions, all my friends are dead. If I didn't face my fears and dance with the devil, they would be dead like the others. How could I have known about this endless road? I will always remember what happened here. <laughs> You'd have trouble forgetting it, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. Oh. And that was that. Right, this is why you don't pick up hitchhikers. Sorry, hitchhikers, but this is a risk that we all have to consider each and every time. That was Don't Let Him In. And that was pretty good overall. Um, as I said earlier, I don't know if I like the sanity system all that much. It seemed like it was, it was going down a little bit too fast. There were a few too many pills for little to no reason. Some of the scares were pretty good, some of the jump scares were pretty good, the the combat was a little bit awkward, thankfully I made it through without dying. Uh, the story and the dialogue though, yeah, they, they got me through this. Hang on, there's more? Oh, of course! There's one remaining tape. So it's not over. Oh man. That was Don't Let Him In. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Just some personal stuff. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, just killing three kids. But don't worry. You're all safe with me around. Hmm, okay. It's too late. You're all trapped. And there's no way out. Whoa! Whoa. 
Okay. <laughs> that actually did make me jump. It's disgusting, but I better look inside. You're a man after my own heart. But we need to hurry. Shotgun. Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the right thing to say. Okay, there's definitely something going on in the ensuite. Whoa! What? Wasn't that the hitchhiker? Alright, who's gonna move it? <laughs> not it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, don't start it. <laughs> don't start it quite yet, though. Wait. What the fuck? Honestly, I'm actually quite surprised your sanity's that high. <laughs> Is that the hitchhiker again, or someone else? But a videotape player. I should watch that tape. What about the guy that was standing in front of it? What what happened to him? Back at that diner. What's going on at the diner? <laughs> I like the music in this game, but man, that was that was jarring. Twelve o'clock. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally right in front of you. I don't think you need to call out 12 o'clock. I think we need to destroy the tape. It's not worth risking our lives for. Odd. That hitchhiker. You shouldn't have picked him up. Well, obviously. <laughs> he appeared like a prophet. How else can you explain it? What the fuck are you talking about, Frank? <laughs> what a horrible first shift, eh? Man. Oh my god! There's some pills there too. Hey guys! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, is she missing her head? <laughs> She's still here though! She's still here! We're gonna drive away. Okay. Uh, okay. I will always remember what happened here. You'd have trouble forgetting it, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. 